It's week 10 in the Valley, and every play counts now. Time's ticking away for teams to make their push for the playoffs. Harris County's in a must-win situation. The Tigers are trying to stay alive in the 1-5-8 playoff race against Bainbridge. Northside has a shot to win their first region title, but a solid Westover team stands in their way. Columbus still has playoff aspirations, but they face a tough trip to Cairo with their playoff hopes hanging in the balance. Spencer has proven that last year was no fluke. They're for real, but they face their toughest test in the fourth ranked Callaway Cavaliers. The Cavaliers look to make their run to the dome, while Spencer looks to shock the state again. It's a battle for the region 5-2A title. The preview is next. What's up and what's good, everybody? I'm Jack Patterson, welcoming you to week 10 of the Prep Zone Preview. Joining us now for the first time is sports director Brendan Robinson, man. How's it going? It's my first one. I'm excited. I'm nervous about being on TV, you know? You do realize this is in, in Is this live? Are we on now? No. Can I say hey to people? Like, shout outs? You do that? No. Go for it. I don't have to wear a suit either. That's my favorite part about this. <laughs> and I get to be with my man, Jack Patterson. It's casual. We, we do it casual, man. Casual. I think I'm we should do casual sports. All the time. I don't think they go for it though. I, I personally be a fan of that, but I, I don't think the powers that be would no. dig that. They'd have me in the office real fast. I cannot believe it's week ten already of the prep. This season has flown by. That's right. And we got a we had a lot of playoff games over on Georgia, you know, because Alabama has that weird week where they play non region games before right. the playoffs start next week. We'll get to that. But we're gonna roll for sleeves, dig into these crowded region standings in some places. Oh man. Oh man, it's, it's crowded. It's a wide open field. We start in Region 1 5A with the Harris County Tigers. Start off the season real strong, but they've kind of hit a couple bumps in the road now. But you just back in the back of your mind, you got to realize in that region, one win will likely get you to the playoffs. Yeah, you go around and we visit with these teams, and it doesn't seem to matter what kind of season they've had to this point. They know what the scenario is to make it to the postseason, and for some of them, like Harris County, it's just pull out a win here or there in the last two, three games of the season. You might win a region title, and you certainly might find yourself playing in the playoffs. And that's the test for the Harris County Tigers. Tigers, they'll be at home at Tiger Stadium in Hamilton playing Bainbridge, and this is a team they've had, they have a history with over the past few years, and it's for that team first under a first-year head coach. A win that could get them in the playoffs, a win over a established program like Bainbridge mm -hmm. would do so much for that program. And they got playmakers we know about. Tyrese McFadder. Calvon Harris. Calvon Harris, I think, makes at least a run at a top play every week on the prep zone. So oh, yeah. you get the ball in those guys' hands, and you just see what happens. At this point, you kind of know what your team is who your go-to guys exactly. are, exactly, and you try to try to get it to them as much as possible. You know what they say, you make, let your playmakers make plays. That's right. So that's what Harris County's going up against. Huge game for them, and like time's ticking, so they've got to get that region win. And speaking of time's ticking mm -hmm. and region wins, we go to the always interesting and always chaotic region one quad A, where we are back to two three-way ties in the region. Amongst those teams at three and two in the region, the Northside Patriots. And they have a big test going up against Westover, who have shown flashes of brilliance, beating Carver and Hardaway. But then they get beat by Columbus last week and America Sumter earlier this season. So it's kind of like they're back and forth, you know, it's like a Jekyll and Hyde team, if you will. Yeah, the Blue Devils needed that win over Westover. Westover 2-3 and three in the region. And yes. Northside side 3-2 three three and two. And two with a game in hand. And we talked about it. It's a very crowded sandbox. All these teams reaching for just a couple toys in the playoff spots. 3-3-2, 3-2-3. Three 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 and three and three three and three. Right. And They're going to meet over the next two weeks. Exactly. Westover can't afford a loss. Northside really can't afford to give up no. a loss either. And a Northside win... I'm not going to say clinch is a playoff spot for him. I feel like it does. But four and two with Cairo five and zero, oh, you'd have two teams probably locked in. Exactly. You know, you you're looking real good at four and two in the region with a couple games left to go in the season. So, well, actually, one game left to go in the season after after this week. Northside got that X factor. They got a kicker, and he's got a great name. Nick, I want, I want. Why do you say that? Nick Robertson. Nate Robinson, man. Nate Robinson, there it is. No. The best kicker in the area, yeah. I'll tell you what. You want him to go kick for the dogs. He they needs to go use kick. a little special team style. Uh, Nate, he could go kick for the dogs. Yeah. Right now. 
Those kind of things, that helps. Playoff yes. game, you need a field goal, yes. you need something. Having a very reliable kicker. And Northside still has a shot at winning the region. That's right, we forgot about that. But went out. Went out. Next week they play Cairo on the road, but they need a little bit of help from a team that they faced off against earlier this year, the Columbus Blue Devils. They go on the road down to Cairo, and Columbus, one of those teams at two and three in the region, yeah. you know, it's a bad scenario, but you can't afford a loss, but you're playing against a team that's been dominant in the region so far. Yeah, Phil Marino's club knows they can't lose another game after what happened last week, and they've got playmakers. Caleb Bailey, they like to roll him out, get him in the flats, find his his playmakers out there with the ball and a lot of misdirection with that team. And you're right. It's go or go home time, go home time, for basically for the Blue Devils. Exactly. And when you're going up against a team like Cairo, for those of you who have never seen Cairo Stadium, it's, it's essentially a, what you would know as a practice field, but it's got stands all around it. It's a very intimate facility, and it gets loud, and their fans show up. So it is a the Columbus Blue Devils are going into a very hostile environment down at West Thomas Stadium, and right. like like I said, is is not the greatest scenario. But I mean, you got to play the hands you dealt with. Columbus has got to win in this situ situation because a fourth loss in the region doesn't kill their playoff chances, yeah. but it makes it a heck of a lot harder, and you put your destiny in the hands of other teams. And if you got a chance to go on the road, a big game, you're five and zero in the region for Cairo. Everybody in town's coming to that game. So Columbus, a chance to sort of slay the dragon, get fired up. You know, it's not like they're, they're limping in against a 2-3 and three team. They get the best team in the region right now, a chance to prove that they deserve to be in the playoffs. But Columbus is coming off a huge win over Westover. They got a little bit of momentum right now. Mm -hmm. So let's see. We know we'll see if they can pull off the upset down in South Georgia. And speaking of big games, speaking of potential upsets, uh-huh. It's our Friday night tailgate game of the week. We're going back to Callaway Stadium for the second time this season. We're going the Callaway Cavaliers looking to clinch another region championship in 5AA. This time, they will face off with the Spencer Green Wave looking for their first region title in either one of our lifetimes. And it's one of those, it's, it's not a trap game, but it could be for Callaway. You're the number four team in the state, and then you're going against a team that Spencer has been flying under the radar just knocking out region wins, and they show up and could ruin the party. They could, they could ruin the party for everybody in that region. They could win. Spencer could win the region. Yeah. Something that, like I said, hasn't happened in either one of our lifetimes, hasn't happened in a long time, and it, it feels like it's the next step that Pierre Coffey has taken that team after making the playoffs for the first time in over 20 years last year. Yeah. And when we're talking this game, we're talking a lot of playmakers. Spencer has one that's really stepped up for them over the last couple of weeks in Jairi Mons, who's had a 100-yard game over the last three weeks. Callaway yeah. has playmakers that you can just roll them off now if you get the forgotten this year. Yeah. He's still good. Always Michael the Freeman, their wide receiver. Their defense is good. It goes on and on. So, Spencer's got some big boys, too. I've been on the sideline for a few of their games. They've got that family mentality. You know, they know what's in front of them, that carrot dangling that nobody probably expects them to win this game because no. Callaway's just been that dominant this year. But there's Spencer right there. They got big boys. They know how to make plays. You let a team like Spencer hang around too long in a game with Callaway, you never know what can happen. I feel, I, I feel like the biggest thing for Spencer is they don't make, if they don't make mistakes here, They've got, a, they've got a realistic shot to stun the state. Yeah. Because, you know, many people are not going to pick them to win this game. Just straight up. That's why they play Cal the game. But that's why they play the game. It is our Friday night tailgate game of the week down at Cal West Stadium. Nallie Pellicetti will be there during our 5 and 6 o'clock newscast. She gets to have all the fun. I have to stay here. You get to stay here. but that's the way it works, though. They'd rather send the pretty one than send me. I understand uh, Hey, man, don't take it too hard. <laughs> but anyway, uh, Prep Zone, Friday night, 11, 15, 10, right. 15 Central with this guy and Natalie. They'll have your scores and highlights throughout the chat at your Valley. Also, follow us on Twitter at WRBL Sports. Hashtag WRBL Prep Zone. We'll have all your scores there as well. And 
Uh, we haven't figured out where everybody's going yet. This is usually the part of the show where we say where we're going, but we don't know yet. I don't know yet. It's my fault. I haven't done it. Okay. Well, it once once again, it's a crazy week. So it's been a crazy week. Thanks for having me, dude. This has been a lot of fun. Oh man, this is this is all this is all. We can we can do this again. We can definitely do this again. Did you explode the pound? I think you did. Huh? You explode the pound? Is that what you did? That's exactly I like what I that. did. Hey man, we'll favorite flash. wrestler right now. Who's your favorite wrestler? Uh, Kevin Owens. Tonight, I don't watch wrestling. Biggest yeah. match of his career. Yeah, yes, I do. Fight on fight. And we'll see you for week 11. The playoffs start in Alabama next week. So, of Whoa. course, we're going to have a lot That's of fun. Hot teams. <laughs> oh, Central. boy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Lynette Lafayette. Oh, my. Yeah. Six teams potentially with home games. No, seven. Borgar's in it, too. Oh, so we'll be all over the place next week. We'll have mm -hmm. previews of all those games. Plus, it's the final week in the regular season. We'll figure out who, or maybe we won't figure out who the heck will make the playoffs in one quad A. And we'll look at one five A. Four single A Manchester playing for a region title against Macon County at home. That will be huge as well. We'll have previews of all these games and much, much more next week on week 11 of the Press on Preview. But until then, for Brendan Robinson, I'm Jack Harrison. Enjoy the games. We'll see you next week.